AMB Radeon 7000 series of GPUs are getting huge price cuts. Until confirming their 13th and 4th generation core stability issue has been fixed, NVIDIA RTX 4090 4090D discontinuation rumors are appearing, and lastly, alleged Ryzen 9000X 3D Cinebench R23 scores emerges. And they're looking pretty good. Alright, so first of all, we have the XFX Speedster Mark 310 AMD Radeon RX 7900 X3 Ultra Gaming coming at 659, which was 799 previously, getting an 18% price cut here, which is quite a lot, which is nice to nice to see and next up we have the similar xfx speedster which is this rx 7800 xt getting 459 from 489 not a huge offer here but six percent isn't not that bad either we also have the power color fighter amd radeon rx 7700 xt coming at 349 there is 13 person cuts which is nice to see we also have the 7900 xtx from xfx again coming at 859 so a 14% price cut which is also not bad because now it's below $900 from the top of the line Radeon RX 7900 XCX so pretty decent option that's for sure and lastly we have the XFX Mercury which was also around 1000 something I believe because it's a, a, a bit premium model from XFX because it's not the Speedster model the XFX Mercury it's RX 7900 XTX magnetic air gaming coming at 879 also seems like like a pretty decent deal coming at 879 not gonna lie the reason we're seeing these price drops is because of the latest rdna4 gpus that will be coming soon and they want to clear the stocks and according to the market share it's pretty evident that radeon 7000 didn't really sell that much although these cards are pretty good at least in terms of restor standard restoration performance so i don't know why they didn't really get that much sold but i guess people really care about ray tracing and in that for that for that reason i guess the market is still filled with these gpus so they really want to stock out the 7000 series to introduce the next 8000 or 9000 probably 8000 will be the naming scheme so yeah these deals are not that bad if you're interested links will be in the description you can check it out and next up we have some information from the verge and it says that intel saying there it's raptor lake crashing chip nightmare is over so intel is claiming the two high voltage issue which was the root cause has been solved so basically the root cause was the v minimum shift instability that was the root cause which was which was highly unstable and unusual in stability issues were reported and now we we are seeing some fixes with the new latest microcode update as as you can see the intel is confirming that yes we are confirming this is the cause and that is that it is fixed so basically it has been fixed no more instability issue with the microcode update so from intel's public blog post we have revealed these are the problems and fixes of course so the v minimum shift instability root cause is right here it says intel has localized the v minimum shift instability issued to a clock tree circuit with within the ia core which is particularly vulnerable to real reliability aging under elevated voltage and temperature intel has observed these conditions can lead to a duty cycle shift of the clocks and observed system instability intel has also observed four scenarios where the v minimum shift is affecting the processors the first one is motherboard power delivery settings exceeding intel power guidance which was the common issue basically that they have been reporting all the time so the mitigation for this which is to setting the default settings for the recommended intel core 13 and 14 generation processors which is again you don't really need to change much to set it to default and it's going to be fine the second issue was the etb microcode algorithm which was allowing intel core 13 and 14 generation i9 processors to operate at higher performance st states even at high temperatures and the way you mitigate that is basically the microcode update which is ox125 june 2024 update that is the microcode update that solves this issue particularly third one was the microcode svid algorithm requesting high voltages at a frequency and duration which can cause v minimum shift and for that they've also released a microcode ox129 which is the latest august 2024 high voltage requested by the processor that addresses this particular microcode addresses that issue and the last one which is the microcode and bios code requesting 
elevated core voltages which is which can cause v minimum shift especially during periods of idle and or light activity and now we have the mitigation which is the intel is releasing microcode ox12b which is encompasses ox125 and ox129 microcode updates and addresses elevated voltage requests by the processors during idle and or light activity periods so there will be a new version of microcode update that will be releasing soon enough from intel and that will be solving all these issues which is the v minimum shift instability and now of course the stability will be normalized for the intel 20th generation and 14th generation processors hopefully that is the case if so then i guess we can now recommend intel 13th gen and 14th gen processors to the consumers next up we have some information about the rtx 4000 series or specifically rtx 4090 and basically as you can see 3dcenter.org has reported that PCGH on the fate of GeForce RTX 4090, which is the major distributors are no longer allowing orders. The fastest graphics card on the market is currently being discontinued. That is coming from, of course, PC Gamers Hardware. We also have this leaked information from Haruke's 5719, and this in particular information is coming from board centers. And of course, this is in Chinese. So we have the translation coming from video cards. And as you can see, it says, as for the dis discontinuation and supply plans for the older RTX 4090, 4090D, and also 4080S, which is a super series, more accurate details from upstream manufacturers are as follows which is the the rtx 4090 4090 d series has already been discontinued and gpu supply will stop in october which is literally this month during the remaining time manufacturers will pr primarily focus on clearing the existing inventory just like the amd rdna3 gpus they're also trying to clear the stock for the rdna4 they're also preparing for the 5000 series by clearing the stock and also discontinuing the rtx 4090 slash 4090d the rtx 4080 super series will likely be discontinued next month basically in november with gpu supply stopping in november after that manufacturers will also focus on clearing existing stock so basically most of the gpu manufacturers are not taking any orders because you know the gpus are abundant they don't really need to make any more gpus and as they are preparing for the rtx 5000 series 4000 series will get discontinued that is quite makes sense so i'm guessing 5000 series will be launching very soon if they are discontinuing the gpus already so that would mean 5000 series might be launching on january 2025 that is highly likely and next up we have some interesting information about the 9000 x 3d processors and already we have some alleged cinebench r23 results coming for the eight core ryzen 9000 x3d basically the 9800 x3d or 9700 x3d probably the 9800 x3d that is, that would make more sense so as you can see in the single core it's getting 2145 and multi-core is getting 23315 and for the 16 core ryzen 9000 x3d which is the 9950 x3d will will show a single core result of 2245 and a multi-core of 42375 now of course when we compare it in the video card stats here we get to see the ryzen 9 9950 x3d is 10% faster in single core and 17% faster in multi-core than ryzen 9 7950x3d of course we're we're comparing vanilla to vanilla meaning the x3d's only and the ryzen 7 9800x3d which is 20 percent faster in single core and 28 percent faster in multi-core compared to the ryzen 7 7800 x3d so these results are very much promising unlike the non x3d processors because definitely there is literally one two or three percent gains which is embarrassing compared to this definitely especially the ryzen 7 9800 x3d because 20 percent faster in single core and 28 percent faster in multi-core is very very amd like because the amd usually do that all the time i don't know why they messed up this much with the non x3d processors from the ryzen 9000 series but at least the x3d processors are looking pretty promising but it also could mean amd is, is doing that deliberately because they're trying to sell the x3d processors more by showing you more performance as you can see here there are more performance gains but in the non x3d processors there are aren't that much so that's quite not the right practice amd should do but at least the x3d processors are faster hopefully the pricing isn't too expensive 